Hello, Queen students and staff. My name is Michaela and I work here at Pam's Flower Garden. I graduated from Queen's with a BFA last year and I'm so happy to see Queen's continuing the sidewalk sale. Plants brighten up any space and make it feel a little more like home, so we're very excited to show you some of our beautiful plant selection. I've separated these into three sections so you can find the perfect plant to decorate your dorm room, student house, or office. With all of the plants I'll show you today, there will be these care tags to tell you the amount of sunlight and water this plant generally likes. Low light, medium light, high light, water once a month, once every two weeks, or once a week. In the first section here, I have plants that love lots of sunlight and would thrive in a bright south or west facing window. First is this wide variety of cacti and succulents. These plants are unique and fun and come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. If you're lucky, they'll also bloom beautiful orange, pink, or yellow flowers. These taller plants are fiddle leaf figs. They're actually in the ficus family and get their name from their unique leaf shape. Lately, they've been popular in home decor magazines and blogs. Also from the ficus family is this rubber tree. An interesting fact about rubber trees is that the more light this plant gets, the more vibrant and rich the leaves become. These are just some of our highlight plants. In store and online, we have plenty of sizes and varieties to choose from. Next, we'll be showing you some medium light plants. These plants would thrive in partial sunlight, such as on a desk or table a few feet from a window. First, we have these stunning Aglionema, also known as Chinese Evergreen. This plant comes in so many different variations of colors and patterns, there's definitely one to suit any space. My personal favorite is this spring snow because it reminds me of a Dalmatian. Calatheas also come in many varieties and are popular for folding their leaves up at night then opening again during the day to absorb the sun. Another medium light plant and one of our most unique plants in this store are these gorgeous Tillandsia xerographica air plants. Air plants got their name because they do not require any soil or substrate to survive. Once a week you fill a bowl or your sink with clean room temperature water and soak the entire plant for 15 to 30 minutes. Take it out of the water, shake gently, and allow it to dry upside down before placing it back in its original display spot. This last group are our low light plants. These will tolerate just about any light conditions and can survive with very little natural sunlight. This first plant is commonly called a ZZ plant as a short form for its very long name. Beneath the soil, these plants have bulbs that hold nutrients and water, so this is one of the most indestructible plants you can find. Snake plants are also very hardy and have so many different leaf patterns and varieties. They're my personal favorite plant and watching them grow is very rewarding. The last plants I have to show you today is this Pothos and Heartleaf Philodendron. They're from the same family and are trailing plants. They can either be left to vine down in a hanging basket or given a branch to climb up. I love collecting these plants to show you, and these ones are just the beginning. Our wide variety of indoor plants are available to view online. If you have any questions or inquiries, please give us a call or come to visit our curbside plant tent. Hey ya!